there are dozens of reasons that have nothing to do with you why guys pull away. But that's not what I'm going to talk about today. Because frankly, if he's not in the right headspace or doesn't really want commitment, he's doing you a favor by moving on. But what about when guys who are awesome and commitment minded get discouraged by something they see or feel in you? If you're not sure if something you did emotionally turned him off to the point where he stopped pursuing you, or if you're curious to learn what could make a great guy pull away so you avoid it in the future, then this video is for you. So before you throw a tomato at me, I am quite clear that a bulk of what's going out there is that there's guys who are not sure about what they want, or they are sure that what they want is something not long term, but they're not clear or expressive to tell you. I know that there's guys who show up with narcissistic tendencies and they love bum women, and when women fall for that love bombing, then they disappear or they do something manipulative in nature. I know there's guys who are having midlife crisis and in the midst of their midlife crisis, they get women involved. I know that there's guys who are afraid of expressing their emotions. So in no way is this video attempting to say that the reason you're not getting what you want is exclusively because you're doing something wrong with men. This is not a blame the victim type of video. I am also aware that that's not the totality of what's going on. Why? Because I've had 13 years of helping women in every walk of life create connections with men who are successful and fulfilling and lasting. So in the event that you are connected with some great guys and it's not him, but you who's unconsciously making this not work, I want to make sure that you're equipped because you have to contend with all the stuff that's outside of your control already to not mess it up when the guy is right but there's something inside of you that's not letting it work. So the first reason why guys who are awesome start pulling away is because they feel like a placeholder to your dreams versus uniquely seen. What does this mean? This means that you have a clear idea of the life that you want, of the future that you want, if you want a family, the type of family that you want. And when you connect with a guy, you determine in some way that he checks the boxes without really getting a chance to know him. When he senses that, when he senses that you're trying to feel this, feeling the blank of the guys in your life, but not because of him, because of your idea of him. When without you really knowing him, you've made the choice that he's your guy, he feels used. He feels like he's someone who's fitting into your narrative, but not because of who he is, because you want a relationship. So the more you get a chance to really know him before you make the decision, he's the guy I want. The more you get a chance to really allow him to be vulnerable with you. If he's not vulnerable with you, how can he know that you're really getting a chance to know him? The second reason why great guys pull away and start pursuing women is because they feel more pressure than inspiration to do the right thing. What does that mean? That means that things start out great. Something changes. You get more serious. You start falling for him. And as you start falling for him, instead of inviting him to your world, you start cracking up the pressure. How do you do that? There's a couple of clear ways women do this. One way is the ratio of things that are not great versus great. We tend as human beings to notice what's not going right because it's a survival mechanism. When he's doing many great things, the conversations you have with them, the clarity you have with them and your requests to him are for what he's not doing right without having a balance. That's one way this can feel pressure. The second way is how do you communicate what you want? If you're communicating to him, here's what you're doing wrong versus here's what I need moving forward. That's a big shift. It's not just a play on words. There's a way of communicating where you can share that his way of doing it is bad. There's another way where you're saying, I prefer my nervous system, my values, my virtues. The human being I am works best in this situation. Would you please as a favor to me, change it so that I can understand it more clearly. When you have that stance, it's not just the words, it's the stance of humility and asking versus enforcing, then he feels compelled and he feels like he's moving forward with you. When you're saying in many ways and many words and many instances, you're doing it wrong, he gets the message, she will never be happy with me, even if you could be happy with him. And he stops. Number three, he couldn't feel your vulnerable heart. So sometimes it's not the overexpressing of your emotions. It's the lack of expressing of your emotions. Why? Because many women this day and age, rightly so, have learned to 
not just put their hearts on their sleeve because they could get hurt because they have been hurt in the past or maybe they didn't learn a healthy way of expressing emotions growing up. So they go about with a very skeptical heart. So when the guy is doing things day in and day out and your heart is still closed and you're not reacting to him, you're reacting to your fears, to your past, to your trauma, to anything you've gone through before, he gets the message, A, she doesn't need me as much. B, I don't really know if I can trust her. Why? Because I don't fully get what she's feeling. You might do the part. You might have good conversations with him. You might even have conversations that you deem are vulnerable when you're talking about things that are important to you. When you're not feeling it, he's not feeling it. When your heart is not present, he can't really feel that force that's going to allow him to really overcome certain obstacles. A guy who's pursuing you is going to have to put a lot of energy into the pursuit. If he doesn't feel the reward in terms of vulnerability, he won't do what he needs to do. And at some point, if it's the vulnerability is not close enough, he'll probably disconnect. He'll feel like he'll never be able to reach through to you. Now, before I share my last two points, which are incredibly important, if you're a single woman watching this, I'll be willing to bet that you're not clear or not even sure about the root cause where you're still single. What I've done after working with women for 13 years, helping them to enter relationships when they hadn't before, and these are fulfilling, lasting relationships. And with every kind of challenge you can imagine, I've put together a quiz you can take in 60 seconds that will reveal to you the number one reason you're still single. If you want to participate, all you have to do is go to the first link in the description of this video. You'll see a page that looks like this. Answer a few simple questions, and in 60 seconds, you'll have two things. The answer to the elusive question, why you're still single, and a custom report that will share with you based on your specific blind spot, the number one thing you can do starting today to attract the guy you want in a fraction of the time. Reason number four, why men who are awesome and connected stop going for women who are also awesome. The version of you he fell for took a hike. What does that mean? He connects with you. You are playful, alive, connected. Playful doesn't mean you don't ask tough questions. Playful doesn't mean you don't have standards. It means that you have a lightheartedness, expressive, passionate nature you're confident, you do things that are amazing for you, you connect with friends, and then as a result of being in the relationship, you start forgetting who you are. You stop doing the things that make you happy. You stop connecting with your friends. You start making him your world, and he starts feeling this heavy baggage that no human being, forget him, can fulfill. So the version of you he fell for starts going away. And the more she goes away, the more you depend on him to create the happiness. The more you depend on him to create the happiness, the less you can. So at the end of the day, he ends up connecting with someone he doesn't really know. Someone who's not the inspiring, awesome woman he first fell for. The last reason why awesome men stop pursuing women who might be great and intelligent is because they don't feel appreciated for their efforts. There's two reasons why this happens. Number one is in this day and age where there's this polarity conversation about masculine and feminine, I think a lot of women take it a little too far where they feel the feminine is simply receiving and not doing anything. And he's basically asking you on dates, taking you places, doing things, and you're basically being happy. That's not what this whole thing's about. There's a law of reciprocation where you open your heart, where you are vulnerable, where you can also reach out to him, where you can also initiate things, not in the pursuit thing. He'll probably initiate more than you, but that doesn't mean that it's just all or nothing. That means that there's a very clear gratitude expression where you're not taking it for granted. Otherwise, it feels like entitlement or like playing games. So when a guy is really putting in the effort, when he's doing his best to create connection with you, and the response he's getting from you is a kind thanks no more, then he doesn't feel the appreciation for the work he's doing. And you might be in your mind thinking that that's the way he's going to show up more, but at a certain point, <laughs> he's just stopped showing up. Hope this is helpful and useful. If it is, I mean the world to me and to my channel, because this is how I grow and get a chance to reach more women. If you click like and subscribe, if you feel this is helpful, please share it with someone who needs to hear this. And if you want to continue learning how you can attract the guy you want without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, tricks, or stupid techniques, go watch the next video right here.